Okay, we're checking our Star Master book, page 54. Today's Monday, November 2nd. Hey, number one, Mrs. Jones bought paper plates and packages like the ones shown. If she bought seven packages of the plates, how many paper plates did Mrs. Jones buy? Okay, does that sound like an equal groups problem? Yes, so she has seven packages. So that's your seven groups. Seven times. Now, how do I figure out how many goes in each group? What do we have to do, Evangeline? Count the paper plates in the package. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven times eight. So if we don't know this, what would we do to solve it? Bryson. You could draw an array. Is that what you did? No? Or what? Okay, so you add it up eight, seven times. So eight plus eight, that's two, four, six, and seven. So what is eight plus eight? Eight plus eight is 16. Eight plus eight, again, is 16. And then one more eight, okay? 16 plus 16. Y'all know that double? Nope. What's 6 plus 6? It's 12. It's 12. Carry the 1. So 1, 2, 3, 32. Okay. 16 plus 8. 24. Okay, so now we just have these two numbers, 32 plus 24. What's 2 plus 4? 6. 6 and 3 plus 2? 5. 5. 56. Okay, so let me teach you a trick. I always learned this 7 times 8 this way and never forgot it, even as an adult. Okay, so our answer was 56. 5, 6, Seven, eight. Fifty-six is seven times eight. Y'all want to say that with me? Five, six, seven, eight. Fifty-six is seven times eight. What did you notice? What did you notice? Five, six, seven, eight. It's going in order, okay? So fifty-six is the answer. To seven times eight. I think y'all could remember that. No. If not, then you got to do it the long way, like we did. You got to add them all up, or draw a picture, draw an array, draw equal groups. What about a different number? Skip count. What do you mean? What about a different number? Then this trick does not work for that. Just seven times eight. Is that what you're saying? No, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Fifty-six equals seven times eight. Okay, number two. A store sells oranges in packages like the ones shown below. Eddie bought four packages of oranges. How many oranges did Eddie buy? So that's four groups of what? Four. Four. Okay, so I could do four times four. I could count the groups of four. I can count each individual orange. What did y'all do to figure that out? Evangeline? Okay, so she counted all the oranges and she got what? 16. Good. So D was the answer for number two. Number three? A worker must replace the legs on the on five tables like the one shown below. How many table legs must the worker replace in all? That's a key word. 
in all means to add, but sometimes it means what, Evangeline? Multiply, because that's just a quicker way to add, right? So I have five tables, so five groups of what? Four. Four, good, because there's four legs. Five times four, what did y'all get? Twenty. Twenty, good. So I could add four up five times. I could skip count by five four times. Twenty is correct. What did y'all do to solve that one? Draw a picture? I added. I see Aaliyah's got a pictorial model. I can see her tables, and she's got four legs on each one. Evangeline, what did you do? She added. What did you add? She added four or five times. Good. You added every time? Okay. Number four. Morgan has six stacks of nickels with six nickels in each stack. What is the total number of nickels in the six stacks? So six groups and six in each group. Okay. Six times six. This is actually kind of a rhyme. Six times six is 36, okay? If you didn't know that, you would have had to sit there and count all of the nickels. Or what else could you do, Evangeline? Um, add it. Okay, add. So you would add six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Anybody have a different strategy they use? Bryson? You did an array, so I would do six going down, two, three, four, five, six, and six going across. So this counts as one, two, three, four, five, six. I fill them all in, and you would still have to sit here and do what with all of these X's? Count them all. Easier to count than all those nickels? Yes. I didn't add them all up. I just counted what was in this little stack. Yes, so that would be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. No, all I did. I didn't do it right. I thought about it. Um, I just counted all the eggs. You just counted all the nickels? And then I got, I didn't add them all up. You just have to be very careful using this picture because those nickels are so, like, there's just not very much room for you to make a mistake, you know? Yeah, I got six. Okay, so those of you at home, go ahead and post a picture of this warm-up, page 54, and um, you can go on to your math lesson next. We are going to be talking about properties of multiplication.